I was a kid, I always dreamed of visiting a rainforest. My bedroom was decorated like a jungle and I always had my birthday parties at Rainforest Cafe. Did you know that in Puerto Rico, you can visit multiple rainforests? Stay tuned to explore one of these majestic places with us. Hello everyone and welcome to Road Tales. Today we're taking a road trip to the very middle of the island to see a beautiful rainforest called Bosque Toro Negro. It's kind of like El Junque, but a lot less crowded. And we're going to start the day off right with a big breakfast in Sartenes in Manati. We hope you enjoy this journey into this spectacular rainforest. Our adventure today starts with a 45 minute drive to the town of Manati for a hearty breakfast in Sartenes restaurant. In this cozy place, you can get breakfast, brunch or dinner on your way out west. After eating, we head over to the town of Orocovis for our first stop, Choro de Doña Juana. Getting to this waterfall is an adventure of its own since the drive is full of amazing scenery along the way. It takes about one and a half hours to get to El Choro de Doña Juana from San Juan. This charco is one of the best examples of nature and its splendor. The sounds, fauna, and subtle breeze will make you forget everything and just enjoy the moment. Chorro Doña Juana, which is a spectacular waterfall in Orocovis. To get to the waterfall, drive on Puerto Rico 149 to kilometer marker 41.3 and park along the road right before or after the waterfall bridge. At 200 feet tall, Doña Juana is considered to be the tallest waterfall in Puerto Rico. These amazing falls are part of the Doña Juana Creek where it runs into the Toro Negro River. The falls are very accessible as you can see them right from the road. No hiking required. However, some adventure groups organize events to hike and climb to the top of this incredible natural wonder. There are actually several other falls above the two that are visible from the road. this is. Just taking in the splendor of the falls makes the whole drive worth it. Now we're continuing on to Bosque Toro Negro, which is about 15 minutes from the falls. Toro Negro State Forest is one of the 21 forests that make up the public forest system in Puerto Rico. We made it to the marvelous Bosque Toro Negro. After parking, the first thing you'll find is a gated entrance in front of a tower, and behind that tower is the pool trail. The pool itself is closed, but along the trail you will enjoy magnificent views of a well-tended tropical garden along a lovely river. This part of the trail feels like a miniature Garden of Eden, full of bright flowers and orange trees. Halfway to the pool, you will see a tiny side hike to the Charco de los Suspiros. This little waterfall is a magical place of profound peace. It would be a wonderful site for a wedding photo shoot or just to sit and meditate while listening to the sounds of the water. After the Charco side hike, the main trail continues up some stairs to the pool and then uphill to the right. This trail is so beautiful. It's one of the loveliest little short trails I've ever been on. It's really well maintained with the paved trail the whole way. And there are little waterfalls all along the way and beautiful flowers. I really love this trail. The Observation Tower Trail does not start at the visitor's parking area. So hikers must first hike to it on other trails. We chose to keep going uphill on the same pool trail. Just keep walking up the hill to the right of the pool, past the picnic areas, and soon you will be in thick rainforest. 
This trail features a few miles of real wilderness hiking, so be prepared with plenty of water, long pants, and hiking shoes. And this trail is definitely an adventure trail that you want to wear your hiking boots for. There's a lot of mud, and it really feels like you are in thick jungle, so it's very, very fun. And now we're going to keep going up to the tower. You'll know you've arrived at the end of this trail when you find a sign that reads Observation Tower. Then, keep walking on the road to the left until you see the sign that points to the Observation Tower Trail. From that point, you have a half hour hike up to the tower. The Observation Tower Trail is about 0.6 miles to the top. We would rate it as moderate because it's very steep and built from slippery algae covered rocks. We've made it to the top of the tower. This is a really fun trail. It is kind of long and strenuous. What an amazing way to have an adventure with your friends and family. The observation tower reaches 3,537 feet above sea level, making it the highest man-made point on the island. It was built by the Spaniards during colonial times as a lookout tower to protect the south coast of the island. At the top of the tower, you'll get unobstructed panoramic 360 degree views of the whole island, including a large lake nestled among the mountains. If you love nature and exercise, this is the perfect day trip for you. Thanks so much for joining us today, and don't forget to subscribe. If you're interested in discovering other hidden gems in Puerto Rico, Please hit subscribe as we'll continue to post travel guides of all these amazing places. Thank you for your support and remember to go out, live, and explore.